What's up, Narco Game? We back two in one night, man. Look, it's a lot of shit going on with this with this war, this Russian Ukraine beef, man. Look, y'all hit that like button, y'all hit that subscribe button. I'm covering this whole thing, man. Look, we ain't we ain't letting the day pass. We already let some days pass. We ain't letting no more days pass. We own it, man. Look. Every every day is something, bro. It's some shit going on. I'm telling y'all, this this could be the start of an ugly world for us, man. Like it's a lot of shit going on, and y'all don't really understand. I'm not saying y'all don't understand. I don't know y'all personally, but I'm just I, from the as a whole, we don't really understand exactly what's going on. Now, I mean, I can give y'all a little bit of insight. I'm gonna put y'all on some game real quick, right? So, matter of fact, before I do this, y'all hit that like button, y'all hit that subscribe button because I'm risking my channel for this right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, YouTube don't want to hear you talking about none of this shit like this. So yeah, y'all hit that like button, y'all hit that subscribe button. But yeah, I'm gonna put y'all on some game. So if y'all don't remember, a couple years back, uh, I want to say it was when Joe Biden was a vice president, right? So Sleepy Joe was a vice president, and he had put some plan. I ain't finna speak. To, I'm gonna speak vaguely. I ain't gonna speak like you know. what I'm saying I ain't gonna be putting too much on here. But yeah. So back then he put like a, um, he put some something in play. I would call it right. Something in play, to where. It was gonna upset Russia in the future, right? This is when he was a vice president. So fast forward, right? He become president. So now he gotta hide all the shit that he did because he president. And you know how they do? They they be trying to impeach motherfuckers. So he gotta hide the shit. But mind you, it's 2022, so it's the it's the it's the internet age, right? So he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, pretty much with some shit, doing some shit in and with the Ukraine and with the giving the guns to people and shit. Right against uh, to NATO people or whatever. So, so I guess Putin ain't really ain't ain't fine too kindly of that. And I guess they were supposed to have a meeting. Joe Biden and Putin was supposed to have a meeting, but after after Putin seen that shit with the guns and stuff, he called it off. So that's what started. That's what really what started all this shit. So everybody, that's my my subscribers. Y'all getting some insight to some shit that most people don't know. So just understand that that. This is this can get ugly, bro. This can get ugly. We got we got NATO versus the Soviet Union, so this can get ugly, bro. This could be the start of a, of a new world war. So let's pay attention, and we're gonna be covering this shit. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell to be tuned for every video I drop. Let's get back into this video, man. In the capital of Ukraine, the sound of missile strikes and air sirens. Explosions rocking several cities, including the capital of Kyiv, targeting military installations, including air bases housing fighter jets. The initial strikes that we think we're hearing right now, right out of the Russian playbook, would be cruise missiles to take out things like surface-to-air missile systems, air defense uh, systems that the Ukrainians would have. That would clear the path for waves of bombers and attack aircraft to continue to hit things like uh, power plants, command and control, uh, internet command centers. Russian President Vladimir Putin warning that any foreign attempt to interfere with Russian action will lead to, quote, consequences they have never seen. They said any foreign attempt, right? So mind you, we the foreigns, that's what he was talking about. He was pretty much, he was pretty much talking about us and France and shit like that, right? Because we the allies, you gotta understand that. If y'all don't know, the ally, the, the, the NATO ally is gonna be Ukraine, not necessarily Ukraine, but in, in this in this occasion, Ukraine is going to be a part of America, NATO right now, okay? So, Ukraine, France, Germany, America, and me personally, I'm going to put China in there as well. So, y'all may not want to throw China in there, but I'm going to throw China in there. So, that's five people going against the Soviet Union, which is pretty much Russia, the, was it Kazakhstan? What else is it? It's, it's Serbia, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it, it's it's some beef going on right now. So, so they pretty much talking about if anybody outside of Ukraine that's on the NATO side, which is pretty much us is the biggest ones. They they saying that they gonna pretty much do some shit. And and, and this man right here got all the nukes. He ain't got all the nukes, but he got a lot of the nukes, like thirteen thousand nukes. Like he can nuke some. Uh, look, this could be bad, y'all. This could be real bad. Not saying that. Look, man, this could be bad. Y'all just give man. Look. Talking about the denazification. This may be a little long. This may be a long video. So y'all go. I'm gonna put the timestamps down there. Y'all go ahead and follow the timestamps and let's get back to. And demilitarization uh, of Ukraine. 
I mean, judging by those words, this appears to be the worst case scenario, potentially. We have to wait and see. Not just forces moving into the east of these rebel held areas, but potentially moving on other parts of the country. This seems to be a much larger ambition. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky issuing a video statement overnight declaring martial law, urging Ukrainians to stay home and not panic, adding, quote, we are strong. Earlier, at the exact moment Putin announced the Russian military operation was underway, the UN Security Council was gathering for an emergency session. Their pleas for peace coming after. If y'all don't know what the UN is, it's the United Nations. So y'all can Google what what's in, what's the United Nations and who's all in the United Nations, and then you'll see who had a meeting about Putin, pretty much. After the first explosions were heard. I have only one thing to say from the bottom of my heart. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give peace a chance. Too many people have already died. Then at the end of the session, a stunning moment when the Ukrainian ambassador directly addressed his Russian counterpart. There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell, ambassador. Whoa. The escalation. Whoa, that man, that, that was some deep words right there. It appeared to begin earlier Wednesday when cyber attacks targeted Ukrainian government websites and banks. Civilian flights were restricted, and one senior Pentagon official told ABC's Martha Raditz, quote, you are likely in the last few hours of peace on the European continent for a long time to come. Be careful. A very sobering message, but captures exactly what we are facing here in Ukraine on the European continent, the most dangerous time, as they've said over and over at the Pentagon, since World War II. And President Biden will address the nation later on today, announcing what he says will be severe sanctions to punish Russia. They could involve cutting off Russia from all Western financial institutions. Mona. Faith, thank you. Hi. All right, Narco Gang, that's going to be the end of that video. But look, let, let me tell y'all, man. Y'all see this shit is getting serious, bro. They, mind y'all, mind y'all. They want they want Russia to stop, but they not addressing why Russia is doing this. You see, like you see the play. It's a play going on here. Like you gotta, y'all gotta stop watching American news and 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 local news. Even though it's, this is a news station, y'all gotta know how to decipher what's going on. Like like they said, pretty much, they want Russia to stop doing this. They begging them, but. If Russia stops, then NATO grows. If NATO grows, it's more of a threat to Russia. So if there's a peace treaty saying that, oh, neither one of us is going to grow, and then one of us goes under that deal, behind that deal, pretty much NATO, and grows and adds more people to their list, that shows you somebody is having something up their sleeve. So if, if Russia stops giving resistance, then... Y'all can fit two and two together because right now this is a like a kamikaze situation. Like Russia, like if y'all going to jump me, I'm going to go out swinging. So I don't know, man. Look, this is this is a deep situation. Y'all got to do y'all research, man. Y'all got to really, really understand the situation that we're going through right now as a country, as a in the world, as a world, as as a people. This shit is getting real serious, man. I'm sorry for a long video, y'all, but this is. This had to be, this had to be that. All right, I'm put timestamps in there for y'all, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Narco Gang, we is out this thing.